What did you guys learn in the Virgin Islands about yourselves? Um, we learned that we could be a good team. You know, we show flashes of being a good team, you know, because we guard better on the perimeter in the paint, but we know we can score. So we just show flashes of being a good team. And good teams usually got to be resilient, you know, know how to win close games, and we did that a lot over there in the Virgin Islands. So did y'all guard pretty good there? I think it got better. Better, but you know, there's always more work need to be done for our defense and any aspects of the game. So I still think we got more work to do. Well, you talked the other day about um, communication on the floor on defense, that that's still something that's a work in progress for, for you guys. From from your perspective, what about it has broken down at times? Um, just sometimes, you know, just talking, basically, which is the biggest part of communicating. You know, talking, knowing what defenses we are in, because um, Coach AK, he likes to switch defenses a lot during the game. So you guys just got to know, like, be aware. Be aware of what we in or what we're trying to accomplish with the defense we are in. Just how is it building that chemistry kind of together through five or six games now? I think it's getting a lot better. Um, the coaches always say we have a great chemistry off the court, but chemistry on the court still needs to be done. I mean, it needs a lot of work to be done. But it's just, we're a new team, a lot of new faces, so. It's early in the season. We're going to continue working. So what's, what's the biggest thing that needs to improve in that regard? Um, communication. Um, communication is the biggest, one of the biggest key of chemistry, talking with each other, you know, knowing, knowing personnel, just knowing who's on the court with you, basically. You've gotten off to a good start offensively. How, how important was it for you to have the year here and sit out? Um, it was very important. Um, I got to just see the um, – the game from a coach's perspective, you know, learn learn how to pick my spots offensively and just see what the coaches want on the court. How much different is what you're being asked to do here from what you what your role was at Miami? Um, it's it's a big difference. Um at Miami I had two well, I had older guys in front of me, so you know, it basically was a kind of wait your turn thing. Where now I'm the older guy on the team and have to lead by example. So it's two different roles and I think so far I'm Holding up. As far as your game, technically the spots you're playing in, is that any different from how you were used in Miami? At Miami? No, it's no different. In Miami, I was basically the same way you used to score, you know. Yeah. I know um, it feels oh, I'm sorry. Guard, guard some of the best players on, um, on the other team's team. So, I mean, it's no different. I'm scoring and basically guarding and just making plays. I know it feels borderline stupid to be talking about the NCAA tournament at the end of November, but. Games like these this week, Middle and Memphis, could potentially end up being big wins for you guys in, in March. Do you have to think about it that way, or do you just have to approach it one game at a time? And then how big are these opportunities? Um, being that the SEC is such a it's a tough conference, games like this could you know, help us. You know, have, like AK like to say, like have those wins that we need in our pockets earlier. So, you know, certain losses that in the conference play won't hurt us as bad. So. Middle Tennessee and Memphis are great teams. Memphis being undefeated, and Middle Tennessee usually wins their conference and oh, has a great record, a chance of making an NCAA tournament. So these are two key key teams on our own schedule and two wins that we need to have. Kind of piggybacking off that, I know that Creighton game didn't end the way I wanted to, and they shot it pretty well. Was that a good measuring stick for y'all to where where y'all are at right now, where y'all can be? Tough. It was a big measuring stick. They're a top ten team that can shoot it, guard it, and. You know, we gave, we fought, you know, we was leading that game for 26 minutes. So it shows that the type of team that we're capable of having. So, I mean, we get that type of effort for 40 minutes instead of 26 minutes. Who knows, maybe Ole Miss in here rank right now. What are your impressions of Middle Tennessee State? Say that again? Just what are your impressions of Middle Tennessee State? Oh, they, they play hard. You know, they, they, they coach teach toughness and they're going to play hard, play tough, and guard on the perimeter. So we just got to match their toughness and their intensity. Anything else? Are you, are you comfortable being a volume scorer? I know AK talked about before he didn't um, think maybe that you had to be that this year, but you've also obviously gotten off to a really big start. I mean, is that something if you need to do it, you're comfortable handling or can be? I mean, I'm I'm comfortable with whatever the team asks me to do. I mean, I'm, I'm an older guy, so whatever the team wants me to do, I, I'm I have no problem stepping up doing it. So if it's scoring, I'll I'll score. If it's guard, I'll guard. So whatever the team needs, I'm willing to do. Individually, how did the, the Virgin Islands, how does that feel for you, just being all-tournament team, scoring 41? 
I mean, it was, it's a great feeling, but at the end of the day, if it ain't a victory, a championship, it, it was kind of like a letdown at the end of the day that I, ride, I accomplished a lot of things individually, but we didn't win. Um, the, the win is what matters the most to me. Thanks, Trey. No problem.